We've seen how to calculate the magnitude of the, uh, the magnetic field created by a charge carrying wire or a current carrying wire. Uh, what if we have two current carrying wires that are next to each other? Uh, how do we figure out the overall or the net magnetic field produced by those two? Well, it turns out we're just going to find the magnetic field produced by each one at a certain location and then do a little vector addition to figure out what the overall magnetic field at that spot would be. So let's do that for this case here. We've got the red wire with 0.5 amps going to the right and the blue wire with 1.0 amps going to the right. And then we're going to find the uh, magnetic field at this location. I'm actually going to change the name of that since we've already got amps in here. How about point P? So at that location, what's the overall magnetic field? Well, let's first identify directions on each of these. So, to do that, remember we're using the modified right hand rule. So with your right hand, point your thumb in the direction of the current. We'll start with the red wire here. And then your fingers will wrap around that wire in the direction of the magnetic field. So with your thumb pointing out this way, be careful, don't hurt yourself doing this, but with your thumb pointing out this way, you'll see that on the screen over here at point P, your fingers point into the screen or into the paper here. So we have uh, a magnetic field in this direction caused by the red wire. Now the blue wire, again point your thumb in the direction of that, uh, that current going to the right and uh, at this location with your thumb pointing to the right your fingers would have to be well, they'd have to be on the back side of your, uh, your screen here, and they'd be pointing out towards you. So we'd have a field out in this direction from the blue wire. So those two are in opposite directions. They'll be easy to add together, or, or rather subtract from one another here. Um, let's go ahead and get values on each of these, and then we can figure out the net magnetic field at that spot. So we'll go back to the red first. Remember that magnetic field um, around a current carrying wire is equal to mu naught, and that's the vacuum permeability, not permittivity, but permeability, um, uh, divided by 2 pi times the current, divided by r, the distance from the wire to that location. So for the red one, our magnetic field on the red one is going to be mu naught, and that's 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7th, and that's tesla meters per amp, divided by 2 pi. And you'll see here that these will cancel, and we get just a 2 there, so that's convenient on this. Times our current on the red one was 0.5 amps, divided by our distance from the red one to that location was 0 0.20 meters. So the magnetic field from the red one is going to be 2 times 10 to the negative 7th times 0.5 divided by 0.2 and we get 5 times 10 to the negative 7th Teslas. And that is going into the board. For our other uh, wire, our blue wire, the magnetic field here is going to be 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7th tesla meters per amp divided by 2 pi. We get the same thing here, those cancel, I'll just get 2 there, times this one was 1.0 amps and the distance was only 0 0.10 meters. Okay, so 2 times 10 to the negative 7th times 1 is just going to be 2 times 10 to the negative 7th divided by 0 0.1 is going to be 2 times 10 to the negative 6th Teslas and that is out of the page. So now our net uh, magnetic field is going to be out of the page because this is a bigger uh, magnetic field than this one is. Uh, now we need to figure out what the overall magnetic field would be. The 
overall magnetic field is going to be, let's say out of the page is positive and into the page is negative. So I'll make this a positive value and this a negative value. So 2.0 times 10 to the negative 6 Tesla plus a negative 5.0 times 10 to the negative 7th Tesla is going to be equal to 2 point, or whoops, 1.5 times 10 to the negative 6 Tesla, and that is a positive, so that is out of the page.